You think we're going to beat all these games? Nope. Backlog Boys. No, probably not. Hey. Hey, Vaughn's back at the front um, door. I'm peacing. You're peacing? He peaced before he, you know. You're pretty sold on door three at this point, huh? Well, I know how to get through it. Yeah. And I mean, I think they all take me to the same five, six, seven, eight. They do. So, so yeah, whichever one you like the best is the one you should choose. There you go, dude. Just run at him. Yeah. Boom. Safety. Clunk. Clunk. And watch out. He's going to land on you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nice. He's just going to fall. You want to go there. Watch out. Oh! You did that again. Damn it. I realized, like... <laughs> As you were falling? Yeah. You, you'll, you'll hear the scream probably before. And I said you weren't consistent. You're incredibly consistent. I, I am. All right, Bowser. I'll learn one of these days. Let's do this. I'm ready for you. You can get him in one cycle. I just had really bad throws that one time. I was embarrassing myself. Wait, you think you can do it with just two dudes? Well, no, you hit him with three and then he turns invisible. Oh. But if you can, if you hit him really quickly with the three, he doesn't ever do the fire thing. Like if they're all really Which close seems together. seems like the most dangerous thing. What? The fire. Oh yeah, it's, well, it's not too bad. It's pretty dangerous. I mean, really, this is all in all a pretty easy fight. Got him. There's two. He's gonna do fire. Yeah, he's gonna do fire. Cool. Bring it, dude. And fire. Yeah. Well, that was a good pattern. Sweet. Yeah, it all just went away. Give me that mush. Hello. Those shloopy arms. Hello. What a giant, giant sprite. This is so like Mega Man. Yeah. Where you're just in like a black background room fighting a giant sprite. But not a 7 up. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what about a Sierra Mist? Bowling ball. Dude, what happened to Sierra Mist? Is it still it's, around? It's around, yeah. I, I remember so. when Sierra Mist came out. Really? And it was like, it was a talked about thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good question. But it's like. <laughs> It's like it had always nice. it had always been That's a good throw. You know, Sprite and seven up, and it's like those were the two. Those were the two lemon lime sodas. And, you know, you liked one or the other. And then Sierra Miss was like, now there's a third choice. And it's like, wow. That's incredible. The edge. Yeah. How, how will we decide now? <laughs> how will how will our Oh, oh Jesus. Get that. Get I forgot that. he was gonna do that. Get that. Okay, good. Don't die in the process. It's weird that your HUD is gone, because there's no there's no timer or like score yeah. or anything, so it makes it look very strange. It does look very odd. Ho! Oh. oh dang it! Ho! Oh. It's all good. Ah oh, damn it! Oh! One more? Uh maybe? Oh shit! Ooh! Lost my guy. Thankfully that landing hitbox is pretty small. Yeah, it is pretty small. Yeah, baby. Is that it? Oh, he cried. He cried a tear. Did he? Oh, baby. Oh. Give me the lady. Peach. Hey, I'm a little short, but I uh, got the wet accounts, you know. <laughs> oh, we got a kiss, dude. Aww. We're blushing. Mario. Mario's adventure it, no, it... is over. No. Mario the princess. Yoshi. And the space bar left forever. No Luigi. And his friends are going to take a vacation. No wow. Lu no Luigi. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude. Damn the, it. The year never ends. Fireworks. I wanted that to be Luigi getting that smooch. Ah, oh, dude. I mean, you can still beat him while I go to the bonus levels <laughs> if you want. That doesn't. No. You can no, even, it's you. No. I'll even I'm let you gonna, go in the back door. I'm not just going to take Mario's leftovers. <laughs> okay. You've been doing that for for decades, Luigi. Not anymore. The oh, line man. is, I will not cross this line. Yeah. Yeah. La, 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 ba, 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 oh, we get credits now. Okay. Dude, cool. Tataki. Wow. Tataki. Takashi Tezuka. Wow. He is the man. 
Whoa, Hideki with a Q? I have never seen that before. That is strange. Unless that's Hidegui, and it's a weird G. No, it looks different than the G there. Weird. Yep, yep it, that was a Q. I have never seen a Q used in... There is no... I mean, there is no G... There is no Q in Japanese syllables. So they would have ha had to have added that just, like, hmm. for fun, or somebody from the English translation staff wasn't paying attention or something. I don't know. That's really odd. Hmm. That is a mystery. I'll have to look into that. Koji Kondo. There he is. Ooh, our guy. We got those seven Yoshi babies there from the separate castles, remember? Yep. We saved them. We did save them. Yoichi Kotabe. Dave. Dave. <laughs> I wonder if it's supposed to be Davy and they typoed it. They flipped them. Hiroshi Yamauchi. That's how you know you're playing an old Nintendo game if he was the president. Mi uh, Miyamoto. Uh, uh, mm -mm. Yeah, Miyamoto's pretty cool. Yeah. Probably one of the coolest people that I know about in existence. Mm -hmm. he's, he's a very, very cool, cool dude. Have you have you heard? So you wanted to you wanted to bring up Breath of the Wild, so I'll I'll bring up Breath of the Wild. Oh, and uh, I'll piggyback off that. Yeah, afterwards. you know you know how uh, <laughs> uh, they introduced Miyamoto to the game. Have you read any of that yet? To Breath of the Wild? Yeah. No. Or like how, like so originally. Uh, no Luigi love. <laughs> no, dude. Come on. No, dude. He's nowhere. What happened to the year? Oh, it's time for the for the people fishing like to. Um. So the the guy who came up with the idea for Breath of the Wild mm -hmm. wasn't Miyamoto or some like big person at Nintendo. Okay, um, he was some designer, and he him and a small team started working on kind of like a tech demo type thing. Okay, Sumo Brother, and they they Screw basically him. were like, okay, our idea is that you can quote go anywhere, and that's what they wanted to build the uh, oh it's called a bonsai bill. That's what they, that's what they wanted to build it around. And so they built like a little area that you could explore and walls that you could climb on and stuff like that. And they handed it over to Miyamoto and some other higher up people at Nintendo for them mm -hmm. to play and try out. And the guy said, you can go anywhere. Or the, or the, or Miyamoto asked, what can I do in this game? And he, he said, you can go anywhere. And they said that Miyamoto spent like half an hour just climbing up and down trees over and over and there were like all these like hidden things for him to I go and explore a little bit about this and that yeah. he just wanted to climb trees and yeah. he thought it was so much fun and he was like this is fantastic well, and what <laughs> well if you think about it in what games can you do that right like and you can do it in mario yeah 64 like bony beetle there you go Vaughn. one of my roommates, little sparky one of my roommates was watching me play that and he, he's like and I, I, I was like climbing walls and climbing cliffs and stuff. And then I climbed yeah. a tree and he was like, you can climb trees? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, you can climb trees. <laughs> yeah. Spider-Man. You can climb every... Yeah, you can climb almost upside down. Or Resnor. almost like perpendicular. There's Trent. Ooh, Trent? key change. Trent? <laughs> Who's Trent? Trent Reznor. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's right. <laughs> it's spelled exactly the same. I'm pretty sure. Mecha Koopas. Mecha Koopas. We wouldn't have been able to beat Bowser without you. Thanks. Oh, there, oh, they, there are. they are. Morton Koopa Jr., Wendy O., Larry. There he is, Vaughn. Oh, the boy. Oh, I'm going to have to put our heads on there. The guy. Boink. That's great. That is awesome, dude. We did it. So. It's the end. What next? Uh, Well, we could check out some of the bonus levels. Okay. And show everyone how incredibly difficult they are. Okay. Are we able to pass from this screen or are we just stuck on it forever? I can't, I can't do anything. Oh, man. Okay. I mean, we can just push buttons for 45 seconds. All right. Sweet. Uh, I'm actually going <laughs> to... Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get a <laughs> sip of this drink. Okay, you do that. This isn't... this. It says the end on the screen, guys, but... This is not the end. This is so not... Don't, don't worry. This is not quite the end. We're going to play a little bit more. Because this game's super fun. Oh, this is a food for thought while we close this episode out. Mm -hmm. So what I what I read, the other thing I wanted to talk about for Breath of the Wild, not actually about necessarily the game. Yep. Because um, we we know you guys aren't sick about us talking about Zelda yet. I, so. I mean, maybe they aren't. 
maybe they maybe they like it you know they so this i read a review a user review not like a, a critic this person said they gave it a really low score uh-huh like unorthodoxically low unorthodoxically yeah okay um and they said that this game is not a zelda game and so i was thinking mm. does this game score like does it matter if this game scores better as a not zelda game than it does as a zelda game like does is that what does that mean well that sounds to me like somebody who started with ocarina of time mm-hmm. and that is their definition of zelda yes but really even though that's where i started and that's what feels like zelda to me mm-hmm. i recognize that the original zelda was non-linear was very difficult and had a lot of openness and very little instruction mm-hmm. and guidance and no story yeah so this really kind of returns to form of the original game and they have said often that this that's what inspired them most was the original zelda mm-hmm. so and i i would say if throwing off the shackles of zelda like and trying to be the best zelda makes it actually a better game in the end like objectively outside of the confines of like what you know this is the best zelda game this is the next best zelda game yeah if they just make a game that's like really good without the archetype like is that better if the game is better without the archetype yeah than it is with i think which is it's, I think it's an it, interesting thing i don't think i know the answer i think it accomplishes really well is. what zelda s- tries to be mm-hmm. like zelda zelda games try to be an adventure mm-hmm. where you start at a certain point and you have to get to another certain point and you have to do all different kinds of things along the way to get there and you have different tools that allow you to get the job done and think about like think about the zelda form or archetype that this that that guy is talking about like think about ocarina of time like it's it's super like formulaic you get to an area you find out about some kind of problem and then you go to that that corresponding area's dungeon where the the problem is that solves you get a you get a new tool or skill inside of that area that allows you to solve that that, yeah, yeah that allows you to solve that problem and then that does something for you gets you closer to beating the game and then you move on to another area and rinse and repeat Mm -hmm. and boy is that fun yes there's nothing wrong with that but breath of the wild kind of does the same thing except it just takes away the formulaic a lot of the formulaic nature like yes you're going to go to an area they're going to tell you about a problem you're going to find a way to solve that problem but there's so much more freedom with the way that you approach it whether it's the order that you approach the problems in Mm -hmm. or how you choose to solve the problem instead of, Oh, well you need the hook shot to get up there. So you can't do anything till you get the hook shot. It's like, well, it seems like there's several ways to go about everything. Like I could probably beat several shrines way differently than you could beat the exact same shrines. Yeah. Like different powers, different things. I could think of like two or three that I did today where that was the case. Yeah. Because everything is so physics based and free form. And Zelda has never been a physics game before. Yep. There's so many different things you can do with the physics to like kind of make you think that you're doing stuff in an unintended way Mm -hmm. but it actually is intended for you to be able to do it in whatever way you want Mm -hmm. so it's not like okay here's a puzzle and we came up with a solution and you have to figure out the solution Mm -hmm. it's just like it's it's like problem solving so here's a hurdle find your way over the hurdle and there's like 20 different ways you can do it whether it's just killing an enemy or doing one of the actual puzzles in a shrine like there's so many different ways you can do it and it just feels super free Mm -hmm. like without without spoiling anything to give a specific example that's the best way i could say it food for thought everybody yeah well this concludes our (laughs) zelda breath of the wild podcast (laughs) presented to you by super mario world by the end famed Uh, sniper yeah yeah this is just our new this is just our new screen that's going to be every episode we're just we're just going to stop playing games uh, it's just going to be this screen while we talk about random stuff. Can you also put the end with googly eyes <laughs> on, on each of their the faces. The guy from Metal Gear Solid 3? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the Cobra. Uh, tomorrow on the boys, we're going <laughs> to we're gonna check out some bonus levels and see how long it takes before we want to crush our own skulls. Let's, um, let's find out. We are, we are not going to make the commitment to finish the bonus levels. No. As much as I would like to. We'll try. Maybe we'll do it as like a stream or something. Yeah. 
We'll, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Way. We're going to check it out. Ta-ta.